this is on uh, a couple things. One is um, uh, the most important thing we do is practice. The most important thing I think anybody does is practice. And, uh, you know, and, and, and all those skills that, uh, and, you know, emphasis, attitude, and all those things. Uh, really, that Coach McCarney talked about uh, kind of uh, uh, comes into, you know, what I'm talking about because that's where it's all reinforced is during practice. Uh, as a team, uh, we spend some time every year looking at scheme. We typically don't uh, wholesale change plays as much as uh, adjust them, add a technique, figure out a way to drill them more specifically, figure out how to be more precise in how we teach the stuff. So we spend more time really thinking about practice and organizing practice than we do uh, scheme because uh, but, 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 you know, what we select and what we choose to do, we try to rep it as often as we can and be a, as sharp and specific at it as we possibly can. And um, <clears throat> so, uh, and, and what I'm most curious about what other people do really is how they practice. You know, how do you organize your week? Everybody gets so many hours in the week and there's a fine line between uh, <clears throat> what's too much and uh, what's too little, where you're going to get the most out of people where the breaking point is. So a real quick summary of how our week goes. Um, <clears throat> uh, this would be a game week. Now one thing, um, compared to most other teams, our spring practices are longer than most teams. You know, we get our money's worth during spring because there's a day's rest in between. Um, you're not really saving their legs for a game. Uh, and then you have the opportunity to work a bunch of young guys. And so, and, you know, in the course of spring, we'll have two pass skills going on simultaneously, two one-on-one uh, -on -one drills going on simultaneously. And, and so uh, we try to cover as much ground as we can, rep as many people as we can. During the season, our practices are shorter uh, than most people's. We're not... Uh, uh, the teams I've been on haven't always been as deep as uh, a lot of our opponents. In other words, uh, you know, uh, we're about one layer deep where we'll play people that are two and a half layers deep. And so uh, uh, if you're slow, one way to get faster is make sure you're fresher. And with rare exception, late in the season, uh, you know, we, we get a bump. I mean, we, we're, uh, uh, you, know, you know, even, even uh, the best teams I've had, we played better late in the season. The, the, um, and, then, uh, uh, and then, you know, uh, this last year we're predominantly freshmen and sophomores, our entire team pretty much, which is good news uh, for the future. Uh, and this is the most dynamic part of their careers. They work and develop the most, which is even more important for us as coaches to be as precise as we can in what we teach and how we go about things. Um, and so I think that, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, but we got to get as far with them as we can because they're going to have started for two years and we'll still have them around for two more. So that's pretty exciting too. So then, uh, but in the, uh, during the season, we have shorter practices th than most people. And, uh, <clears throat> and what we'll do, and it's kind of the NFL model, and I'm not a guy that thinks the NFL has all the answers. As a matter of fact, I think the NFL's lost track of a lot of the answers they once had. Um, but uh, we do kind of the NFL model of how we uh, uh, start the week. So we'll play on Saturday. The game's uh, concluded on Saturday. And then um, <clears throat> and you can plug it into however the days work out, you know, whatever, uh, whenever you play. But... We, uh, uh, and so we'll come in as a staff, we'll watch all the film, we'll meet, and then we'll uh, start game planning on the next team, and then we'll meet with our team, then we'll watch the previous game, because I want that previous game over with. Good, bad, or in the middle, I want the previous game over with. And then, um, and so Sunday's practice, it's about half special teams, the other half is, uh, Offense, defense, we're in helmets and shorts, and the entire thing lasts about an hour. Uh, then we're off on Monday. We spend all day mon Monday continuing to game plan. Monday's perhaps the longest day that we have uh, for coaches. Um, <clears throat> we'll get through all of our cut-ups. We'll watch all the, the film, and uh, typically on offense, we'll meet around 10 p.m. 
uh, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, and uh, then we're out of there at about 2 a.m. And we have the entire weekend, and then from there it's, it's lined out what we're going to do. Okay, then Tuesday, and the practice I'm going to really emphasize here is a Tuesday practice. And part of the reason I'm going to emphasize uh, a Tuesday practice is because that's, that's our heaviest day, and also that parallels what we do in the spring. That is the practice we do in the spring. So our spring practices are like this practice that I'm going to discuss, um, except the periods are slightly longer in the spring. <clears throat> and uh, so, but during the season, during the spring, it'll go about two and a half hours, okay? During uh, the season, it goes about an hour and 45 or an hour and 50 minutes. And we're typically in helmets, shoulder pads, and shorts. And then uh, uh, Wednesday, we're helmet, shoulder pads, and shorts. And that one goes about an hour and a half. And then Thursday, we're in helmets and shorts. Uh, starts out again half an hour of special teams. Then we have our team period and we want it really fast. Um, and uh, that one lasts about an hour, but always, and this is maybe one of my favorite parts of the week, after that practice on Thursday, we have a thing called Thursday night football. And Thursday night football is all the, the guys that aren't traveling or the the guys that are traveling that aren't going to play very much will go live for about 35 plays. And I think that that uh, develops our film tremendously. Uh, that's their game, uh, and it's gotten to be such a tradition. Uh, the varsity guys are all out there cheering, some of them occasionally in huddles getting people fired up. Uh, Friday, uh, we have a series of meetings, and uh, whatever you do the day before a game, uh, or on Friday, we try to duplicate it as specifically as we can uh, to whether it's a home game or an away game. The only difference is the plane ride. Uh, so what we do at home, we'll do identical uh, at the hotel when we're on the road. And I think uh, I don't have a magic formula for that other than uh, make sure it's the same, make sure that it's always consistent. They know what to expect. They know, okay, now we're doing this drill, now we're doing this walkthrough, now we're doing this meeting. And, we, and, and, and I'm not a guy that uh, wants those people silent and like statues before the game because then it's just too tight, too constipated, too, you know, just you got a bunch of guys just all wound up. <clears throat> I want them to enjoy being around each other so we have a thing we call football time. If it's football time, you're focused, you're up in your seat, you're alert, uh, and uh, uh, anything that's football time. And I want them to have the ability to turn it on, uh, anything that's football time, eliminate all distractions. So if we have a meeting, everybody's alert. Okay, then they're hanging out with each other, uh, dinner and whatnot, I want them to enjoy themselves. Okay, then we have a walk through, everybody's alert, you know? And so just a emphasis and a focus on this is what we do during football time. Mm -hmm.